Hello and welcome to the third part of the converging diverging nozzle flow analysis. In the first part, we we outlined the eight cases, the eight characteristic flow regimes that the flow can assume in the nozzle. And to remind you, it starts with case zero, case one with no flow, zero velocity and goes gradually by reducing the back pressure uh, all the way down to case 8. And we, the first three cases were covered in part 2 in more detail. They pertain to subsonic regime and now we're moving to the supersonic regime, uh, cases 4 to 8. So in this uh, template I already wrote, itemized those four cases we're going to now examine them one by one. But we're starting with case 7 because so case 7 says it's supersonic exit matched. So what, that, what does that mean? That basically means that the back pressure is exactly equal to the pressure that would correspond to the supersonic uh, pressure um, exit pressure at the end of the nozzle. How do we know which what pressure that is? Well, given that this is isentropic flow, there's no shock in this particular regime, we can use our isentropic flow chart and uh, identify basically we're looking again at um, aspect ratio uh, of areas of 3.5. Here at the bottom is the little table that shows that exit ratio to throat ratio is 3.5 and uh, we're then looking here at that level which gives us two characteristic points on the uh, area curve and these points correspond to supersonic Mach number of 2.8 at this end. So you can see here Mach number in supersonic regime of 2.8 and at the start it's 0 0.17. So it's this 0 0.17. So now for this particular uh, our pressure change is following this curve between these two Mach numbers. So in, in first case it is now for pressure we go to the left and it's 0 0.98 and then all the way down somewhere here as we go across we get the value 0 0.03 you can see that it's a huge difference and that's this value. So if the back pressure is exactly at 0 0.03 in this case, which is indicated here, uh, sub supersonic 0 0.037 here as a more precise value, then the actual process will unfold essentially starting from this 0.98 going down and ending at this value while the the area change corresponding to that process is being governed by this. You of course should not look at the shape of area change. It has nothing to do with position x. It has to do with relationship with Mach numbers. So our area change here looks more like this, although this is uh, just uh, the change of radius. So we have area again A equals 0 0.1 plus x squared equals pi r squared from which we get r equals square root of 0 0.1 plus x squared divided by pi. And uh, these values are all contained here. So this is the case 7 and it's called matched because 
the exit pressure exactly matches the the back pressure so there is smooth transition out now what happens if the back pressure is not equal to to exit pressure but is somewhat larger so uh, remember we are actually controlling the flow by changing back pressure here uh, and not by change we have no direct control of exit pressure it can be equal to back pressure but often it's not so I'll continue analysis in the next video